Ladies and gentlemen, NHL free agency has been going on since noon on Friday. So let's see what your Buffalo Sabres have done since then. From Friday at noon until Sunday afternoon, the Sabres made an array of depth signings. First up was winger Tobias Reeder, who struggled with the Flames last season. He had 4 goals and 10 points in 55 games with the team. This was after his disastrous 2018-19 campaign where he put up 0 points in 67 games. So the Sabres signed a depth forward with 4 goals in the last 2 years. Great! The Sabres also inked 1 year deals with AHL defensemen Matt Uren and Brandon Davidson. Uren had 1 point in 9 games with the Ducks last year while Davidson didn't register a point in 5 games with the Sharks in 2019-20. The Buffalo Sabres then signed Joe Pavelski killer Cody Eakin to a two-year deal worth $4.5 million. He is two years removed from an electrifying 2018-19 season where he scored 22 goals and 41 points. However, 2019-20 saw him rightfully regress. He only had five goals and 15 points in 49 games split between the Golden Knights and Jets. He's being brought into Buffalo to replace Johan Larson who departed for the Coyotes. So it's not a bad signing, just not a signing that will appease an already depressed Sabres franchise. Then Sunday, the Sabres finally showed some ambition. Left wing Taylor Hall comes to Buffalo, what? On a one year deal worth $8 million. He split his 2019-20 season between the lowly New Jersey Devils and the slightly less bad Arizona Coyotes. He totaled 16 goals and 52 points between the two teams and at points in Arizona he looked like a shell of himself. Maybe it was the system he was playing under but the Sabres are certainly banking on him returning to his 2018-19 form. And the risk here is low if you're both Hall and the Sabres. It's a one year deal. So if the Hall Buffalo experiment doesn't work both sides can wash their hands and start all over again. If it does work though, then Hall could be looking to make even more than $8 million on a long term deal. This deal is by far not even close. It is the biggest move of the Sabres offseason and their best. In other news, the Toronto Maple Leafs signed a bunch of old Sabres bums. So I guess it's worth it, right Maple Leafs? Kyle Dubas?